This is Soundless V, and we are playing Minecraft this morning on the PC. Um, we are making a little cabin outside of outside of our main area where we were exploring. Let's see what we got in the inventory. Not much. Not much. Now, let's see. I am getting bricks together. Did get a little ice. I think I need more bricks than that. Let's see. So, boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> All right, let me make some more of these. There's my Zach running down the hill. Let's see. Let's just kind of check this way first. It didn't make these steps look any better. Actually trying to remember where I saw that fancy cave. I don't remember going over there, so I doubt very much it's over there. Something, but that ain't it. But it'll do.
So I was looking at um, different things on the uh, internet, trying to find out the distance between different places and stuff. Um, in Japan, it will um, tell me what I want to look at or go see or do. And I was thinking uh, that some of the stuff was far away until I looked it up. Found it, um, I think it's called Gen Genze, Genze, something like that. It's only <laughs> seven minutes away from um, Shinjuku by uh, tax. So that was good to know, you know. I was thinking it was like really, really far away. I know they have the Kabuki Theater there. And um, Shinjuku has Comedy Theater and they have um, uh, the, what do you call it? The VR Zone stuff like that so that's interesting you know i'm just kind of looking at stuff i know i can't see everything but you know just looking at stuff i think i'm gonna lose a day on in travel status going there Ooh. I'm getting excited about it. It's a long way away. But hey, I'm getting excited. So one person on my Twitter, they like to post different things on there. I don't know if they're a company or what. They like to post different things on there, fun things to do, udon shops, all kind of things on there. So... That gives me ideas of what is there to do, where to go to eat and stuff. Well, that I can exact, I can set up a meet and greet when I first come into Japan. I uh, get a um, form, a form bus, not bus ticket. Uh, train ticket, so that's that will be good, you know. I got absolutely hardly anything. Anyway, let me go back. Do some more digging. So I'm kind of interested in their um, comedy show, see how that is.
I also have the uh, sumo wrestling. I'm not sure it's in like a different part, you know, so I'd have to look that up, but I can't do everything. I can only do a few things, you know, but I'm just writing down all the things that sound interesting to me. And I have to pick from them um, the uh, plays that, that I really uh, want to see that uh, the one guy who writes plays and the voice actors do the plays. I haven't seen his stuff in the uh, travel guides or, or in the um, different things, you know, so I'm not sure how to look it up, you know. Uh, of course, I don't know if he schedules that that far in advance, but I'm gonna have to figure that out because I think that that um, play um, would take priority over going to the comedy club or something like that. I know he was saying on on Twitter he had tweeted that. He was starting a new play or wrote a new play, something like that. So, and he's pretty good. I really enjoy him. He is pretty good with his plays. <laughs> uh, but the last one I bought was uh, El Galeon. And I enjoyed that. It had such a comedy in it. I had a few of those uh, plays uh, that I bought. I really wanted to uh, get <laughs> Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I don't know. He, he don't seem to be repeating too, too much as far as those plays go. Not a lot of repeats that he's doing. But uh, uh, when I go that um, he's doing one that has my favorite voice actor in it, um, Akio uh, Matuska. He's always got something going on. I do want to give me some mild souvenirs also when I go there. So I'm going to have to look at, uh, at where the stores are that sells that stuff. If it's still selling, if it's uh, still selling the stuff. In uh, 23, because uh, it's like a pop-up store and pop-ups pop-up stores from what I understand I don't know it means they pop up and then they go it's a little section in the store I'm hoping that little section is still there when I go out there I think he has a list of the stores that carries his products on his um, site. On his Twitter. So, I don't know. I will see.
It's from the, um... Game that I've been uh, playing to kind of tell me about uh, what Japan is like. Says that uh, Shinjuku is very congested. Also said it's more appealing to uh, adults than children. Although I don't, I really don't know, you know, because uh, VR zones sound like something that would be um, uh, the children would like. Comedy club, I don't know. Depends on how clean their their jokes and stuff is, you know. Uh, sounds decent and it is supposed to be centrally located so that um, it's easier to get to different things um, from there this is the town of research figure out what I'm gonna do uh, some of the stuff is very reasonably priced because the comedy club's tickets is only like uh, 25 bucks a person. That's cheap. Well, depends on the person too, but that's 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 not bad. That's reasonable, and you're gonna spend money on vacation. That's that's bottom line. You know, put some money away on vacation, so. Some of the, um, Shops look good. The restaurants, I think they even get regular. Like um, McDonald's, Bur I don't know about Burger King, but I know they got McDonald's and stuff there. So that's good to know, you know. And then they get other um, similar type restaurants like that. Sound like old dial up. Internet dial up. That noise that just went. And anyway, on, talking on. So, that shouldn't be bad, you know. The only thing that gives me anxieties is them trains, but I know I'm going to have to deal with them. But it helps to know they do get a taxi service, you know, which yeah, if I, I make sure I have everything written out in kanji before I go, you know, it should, shouldn't be bad. and label the stuff so I know what is what. That's in the narrow down process. And I'm just talking about my vacation that I'm gonna have next year. Um, while I'm cutting bricks, chopping bricks. Learning my Japanese slowly but surely, hopefully, 
I will have enough at least to get around. You know. Which I think that I should be able to get around. Because that area is used to tour tourism anyway. So they will um, be more accommodating. I know some of the areas they say on um, some of the videos I looked at that some of the areas they will not serve foreigners in the restaurant. So, you know, I will stick to the touristy place, places where the tourists go. And I think, let's see, let's take our brick up. And leave this down here. And I guess we can start building the road when the sun comes back up. I should have made one of these barrels in the floor a coal barrel that I put coal in. should be clay. That's me. Now right, give me the clay ball. Oh. So this can be the cold. A few shovels.
uh, sometime watch this person um, whose uh, name is starting over uh, play Minecraft and they be building different stuff on there um, channel <laughs> Not a fancy bill, but it just having fun, you know. I usually watch uh, people who who build fancy um, towns and stuff like that. But um, start over seems to have, you know, just having fun. different ones I, I like to look at build styles because i think uh some of them some of them are influenced by other uh popular minecraft builders but some is being influenced by uh where they come from where they live or whatever you know that's my guess you know or it could just be the um, influenced by building ability. I don't know. You know. But um, that person seemed to have an open um, plan or open uh, building plan where uh, it's a lot of uh, glass a lot you can see outside which I like that kind of stuff too yeah, I like it we, especially if you had the monsters on you could see you know um, where they are be even before you go out the door you know although uh, sometimes uh, their their plan include don't include uh, don't include uh, door I mean yeah they don't include ceilings <laughs> so, I, don't know. I mean they enjoy themselves and they, it it be cute you know trying to pull the logic of, of what it is supposed to be for me because I'm used to houses having a um, uh, roof you know and stuff and uh, doors are closed or whatever but of course that's not the first thing they think of. They don't uh, build in a traditional manner. Yeah. Hey, have fun. That's, that's the whole thing about these games. Have fun. Don't take everything so serious. You know, enjoy life. I was talking with my son on yesterday. He was talking about uh, retirement VTubers that retire and then pop up at it in a different company, which wasn't, you know, it's a relatively new um, concept or new uh, 
job type thing. So, um, So, uh, before even all those different companies weren't even available to, uh, for people to uh, work for. But now there's so many different uh, companies or what have you, you know, that, that they switch and go work for or, or not, you know, <laughs> but um, it's becoming a little more popular, you know, to do, and I, I imagine so, because I couldn't see myself doing, you know, doing this, but it's just a hobby for me, couldn't see myself doing this, but it's fun for me, um, almost therapeutic, because you get to Talk and set your videos out and stuff. Um, I have two sons. Both of them asked me when I'm going to start live streaming. I can't even see that happening. <laughs> right now. I don't know. I guess I get too anxious you know, as far as that goes. Trying to have no anxiety attacks over all that stuff. My first experience is um, watching already recorded videos, so <laughs> that's not a big concern for me. But towards the end of this month, my uh, channel will be one year old. Well, uh, V, Timeless V's channel will be one year old. A mere toddler. <laughs> And you know, down there, cross over. I'm not sure which direction I came to get over here. That's how I'm going to get back. I do need to go make a travel bed, though. You agree, don't you, Zach? See, that's why he needs a side rail on here. Because he's stupid. Oh, 
the second time he did that. He don't even be fighting mobs and he's be hurting himself. Those tail is still up. As long as their tail is up and their tail droop, that means they got taken on a lot of damage. Well, that's how it used to be out there. Out now, you had to give them some meat to bring their tail back up. And they did change a little bit of stuff about the dogs now that it when they first uh had Minecraft it was a part of the um dog's way because if you hit your own dog in the past your own dog would just kill you. You know, but uh, now if you hit your dog, he don't do nothing but yelp. No. You may I burnt. You wouldn't think that uh, solid Minecraft would be so popular and peaceful, but it is something that, that make you, help you to fall asleep and everything. And it's pre becoming very popular. You know, I can't see. Yeah, although I'm not a very talkative person, for the most part, I can't see myself being quiet that
But I'll, a lot of times I will turn on the um, different ones. This has the silent Minecraft. Let them go um, do their thing. Watch them and then turn on um, my Japanese listening study uh, thing that I like to listen to with they'll do sentences in English and Japanese for practicing and I'll listen to that I need to also practice <laughs> I usually do that sometimes I do sometimes I just listen and end up falling asleep while well, I'm uploading or something. First, I'll do my dual lingo. And then I'll uh, do my listening practice. <clears throat> That's probably why it's different sentences get stuck in my head that I don't too particularly know what they're about. But, hey. That's how it goes. Put some side rails on here for Zach. That's a kind of stupid. And that's uh, kind of stupid. Let me get a little bit at ease. I make some more.
Close this in. So then when I was silent, um, Minecraft videos of different players. And when I first started watching them, I tried to figure out what's, what their gender is. 90% of the time, I'm wrong. <laughs> It can be jarring to, you know, you've been watching somebody for months and think that they're, they're a, a, a lady and then they talk. <laughs> it's actually a guy, you know. I don't know why I'd be assuming most of the people would be female, you know, because I'll say, man, she's aggressive or, or uh, you know, if they have an aggressive playing style or whatever, you know. Not the... Uh, I did it makes a difference though. And it make me some more um, fencing. Oh. 
Yeah, let's see. I need to go get me some more um, wood. So, uh, <clears throat> Nameless Miles uh, lately does a lot of, well, a few little shorts, short cartoons, you know, um, goof and all. I think they're pretty creative. Um, now I show one of them to someone, and it was at, asking me, do I think that uh the uh character the person who is on cartoon uh, comics itself my opinion is probably so and i enjoy it you know I say probably so because um, I don't know if it would be worth um, paying some money to make a little short cartoon this over in no time, you know. I don't know. That's my opinion. A lot of um, people be very talented. They be doing the cartooning and stuff. Very talented. Have to be creative too. One guy um, made a cartoon called The Donkey King. It was very encouraging. <laughs> it um, encourages you to, to um, don't put yourself in a box. But the, um, they encouraged that you could do more things than you would... You would uh, think in your little box that you could do. You know, because sometimes we put ourselves in a box and say, well, people my age or people my race or whatever, don't, don't do that. You know, can't do that. 
you know, um, doctor, lawyer, whatever, but we beginning to break out of those little boxes in life anyway. But it just encourages the young people to, to um, think beyond what someone tell you you can do. So I say, well done. have a way of, of starting a task and not finishing it. The door is left open. Hey, y'all. Go to gray water all over me, huh? some steps. I think that uh, <clears throat> those dogs in this game is used to keying on those um, sheep. Um, when they're not tamed, they'll kill the sheep. And so, egg. So sometimes I notice that Zach uh, will my dog will just go run and look at the sheep. Yes, just be all uh, looking at him all hard. Like, I wish I could just bite you.
I said I was gonna make a travel bed. I did not do it. There's a sheep over there on the hill. Over here. Some people could do things at a whim. I usually like to plan stuff out, you know, um, till I am just straight up familiar with what's going to happen. Or oh, it gives me such great anxiety. <laughs> Stupid dog. When I say that, <clears throat> for the simple fact that um, I like to talk about different things that about my trip I am planning and uh, I know, I know. And uh, it's just a way of uh, familiarizing myself with what's going to happen and um, taking some of the anxiety out of it. For me, anyway. And you would think I never put trips together before, but I have. And that's normally how it goes, too. Very anxious until it's done. And it usually turns out quite well. But that don't stop me from being anxious. Although, um, usually, uh, some, some people that I travel with will say I overbook stuff. I put too much stuff in the agenda to do, you know, and they don't have no rest time when they travel with me. <laughs> and I have to keep that in mind as well. My son agreed to travel with me, a younger one, agreed to travel with me so I won't be by myself. Well, he sure ain't gonna wanna do a bunch of stuff. Some stuff I guess I could do by myself, you know.
There's two sheep on that hill. <clears throat> I'm going to take Zack over there making sit. I got to go over this water and I don't want him just doing his own thing. One little piece of wool at a time. Well, not. Nah. Said I may not rest down. Time to make a crude house. Well, let's make it out of wood.
have awful allergies all the time. Which I ain't death real about. Let's chop down this tree over here. Hold down here and let me look at it. That's all it is, is a hole that goes under and back out. And some pop There's six trees. Let's put them in. This spot is greatly lacking. And his mouse did this video where he is shaking his butt, singing foodie foo, foo foo or something like that. I don't know why I was thinking about that uh, song they was singing on uh, um, the Sing cartoon. Sing, I think it might have been Sing 2. It might have been Sing 1. I can't remember. And, oh, my God. Oh my gosh. Then they say I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Something like that. It was funny. Comedians. Oh, I forgot I gotta put a floor in.
No. Put that in there. That's kind of low. But no roof on there either. <clears throat> Now I'm knowing all this and I could just go right back to the other house and get some glass. The skins are not really um, customized. 
although um, my son colorized it for me, said for the eyes should have been brown, but that's not a bad job, you know. Oh yeah, here's some pains. Go ahead and cook this little sand I got. Now it's close to the time to say goodbye. At least want to try to finish this house first. These still need a rail on them. I know. Little by little, we'll get it done. Because this right here is going to go straight across on this line here. Could you will bring me about here? And up here. <clears throat> that now let me see on the second bed in here as well and I need a furnace in here Yeah, 
plan on doing a single bay, it's I like that left room. For me, single beds is for kids. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just got to make the bed and the roof. Put the bed down. Put the roof on. There you go, double bed. The only thing about a wood roof is it can be hit by lightning. <clears throat> And burnt the burn the cabin down. There we go.
See the wrong thing. Oh, I guess it's time to go. So, this is Timeless V. And of course, I've been enjoying myself because I almost forgot it's time to get up on out of here. But if you enjoyed uh, Minecraft with me, like, subscribe, um, and I will see you next time. We were playing Minecraft, building from the um, house we put on the hill over here. And we're going to take this on back to spawn point. This is just a rest in the, um, rest in the night right here. Ain't much to it. But it's just a rest in the night. And uh, with that said, um, we are going to call it for today. And like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.